Okay, here's the big picture. We have this function, which we can rewrite this way. That's the graph, this red graph here. Uh, sometimes we're finding the centroid of an area bounded by another function, g of x, which is below f of x. Um, here our g of x equals zero. This is the region right here that we want to find the centroid for, where a is 5, b is 6. We go to board 2. Here's a formula for finding x bar, where m is the area between the two curves given by this expression right here. Uh, and m of y, m sub y is defined like this, definite integral from a to b of x times f of x minus g of x. So it looks like x bar is 5.33. Nine, nine. How do you do that if you're not just entering on a calculator like this? Well, here's how you find A, or what I called M in this picture. Uh, finding the, you're actually finding the mass of that region. You, you would actually be multiplying by rho, the density. But in the end, Rho cancels out, so we sh don't usually bother showing it. Uh, so we have to, to find the antiderivative of this. We have to use partial fraction decomposition. And here's the work for doing that. B is negative 1 eighth. A is 1 eighth. So this is what we want to evaluate right here. Uh, for this term right here, it's 1 eighth times ln of the absolute value of x minus 4 minus 1 8 times ln of x plus 4. The whole thing evaluated from 5 to 6. Uh, this expression, you could factor out the 1 8 to use properties of logarithms to write it as ln of x minus 4 over x plus 4. Finally, substitute 6 for the x minus substitute 5 for the x. And you get 1 8 to ln of 9 fifths. And there's the value right there. Same thing that the calculator gives you. Okay, to find m of y, uh, m sub y or a sub y, I called it here, we have to take x times f of x. So we still have, oh, well, I used partial fraction decomposition. But now I realize, you know what? You could have used u substitution. u equals x squared minus 16. du equals 2x dx. Put a 2 here and a 1 half out front. And you get 1 half the integral from hmm, when u is 6, or when x is 6, u is 36 minus 16, or 20. And when x is 5, 25 minus 16 is 9. We have u over, whoops, du over u. So it's 1 half ln of u evaluated from 20 to 9. Well, and there's what you get right there. Okay, so you didn't need to use partial fraction decomposition on this. You could have just used U substitution. Uh, partial fraction decomposition gives you the same answer. So X bar is M sub Y. Moment about Y divided by the uh, area between the two curves. There's the X coordinate of the centroid. Finding m sub x is a little bit more challenging because it's one half five squared g of x squared. G of x, of course, is zero. F of x squared would be one over x squared minus 16, the quantity squared. 
probably have to use partial fraction decomposition and it probably gets pretty ugly, which is why they didn't have you find the Y coordinate. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment. Thank you.